Spotify fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. The highly skilled Demetrius Andre steps up the challenge for the WBC interim belt at super middleweight against the tough and rugged former champion David Benavidez. Will Benavidez overwhelm and roll over yet another victim, or will Andre finally prove he has elite level skills to his doubters? Let's get into it. Southpaw Demetrius Andre's game against come forward pressure fighters is typically to gain advantageous positioning through disengagements. Andre simply uses lateral movement or backward steps to step out of equal positioning and reset his feet. When his opponents try to regain equal positioning by following, he attacks as their feet aren't set or while their weight is on the front foot in range. If his opponents aren't careful or utilize poor technical footwork, they're vulnerable and susceptible to being hit with power punches regardless of the defensive guard. It's the classic slick boxer against the tough pressure fighter. Especially against Southpaws, Benavidez is a come forward pressure fighter whose game is typically attacking from range with the intention to step inside where he's a real problem. After the step in, he typically utilizes the high guard to handle return fire for having entered the close positioning. On David's penetration step, he has a few issues. Tactically, it's exactly what Andre's disengagement traps are meant to take advantage of. Benavidez will reach with his back hand, taking his back foot completely off the ground into a square position or forward shift, aka stance switch. Benavidez will cross walk in his stance or basically walk like it's a park and not a ring into range of his opponent's punches. Benavidez will come forward back foot first and gather his feet in range.
He'll also just simply step in squared. Android style would seemingly be David's kryptonite, but it isn't that simple. That step in and that solid high guard David enters inside position with also has a solid beard behind it. Even if taken advantage of by opponents, if the opponent is still there after they attack or if they choose not to attack, David is damn good at countering and making room to punch with controls and footwork, then shortening up shots to match with his quick hands and varying combinations on the inside. Andre can fight on the inside as well, but would likely be overwhelmed by David's size, aggression, and high-level tactics if he decides or is forced to stay there. <laughs> 